Donald Trump is notorious for his many vicious and equally stupid feuds. But of course, one of his most well known enemies was the late Senator John McCain. And in the former president's new book, Letters to Trump, yet another one he did not write. He has once again made his feelings about McCain very clear, retreading old topics yet again. But first, let's give you some context. Trump's new book, Letters to Trump, is being sold for a reasonably priced $95 and has allowed readers to view the letters the former president had received. Those include letters ranging from Oprah Winfrey to King Charles. Along with letters, the book includes context about who the sender is and commentary from Trump, which I'm sure is brilliant and insightful. The feud between Donald Trump and John McCain was not subtle while the senator was alive. The two were often the subject of Republican infighting. Take a look at this. Because I don't like losers. <laughs> but, but Frank, Frank, let me get hero. to it. He's he a hit war me. Hero. He's not a war He's hero. A war hero. He's a war Five hero. Five and a half years. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured. Okay, I hate to tell you. <laughs> Do you He's agree with hero. that? He's a war hero because he was captured. Okay. You can have, and I believe perhaps he's a war hero. <laughs> McCain did stand against Trump's nomination and called the choice a disaster, saying, When Mr. Trump attacks women and demeans the women in our nation and our society, that is the point where I just have to part company. In Trump's new book, though, he didn't hold back on McCain yet again. Quote, I never warmed to him. I never warmed to him despite. I never felt good about anybody having to do anything with John McCain, never will. Even despite the fact that at their request, they gave him the world's longest funeral, 11 days. Much like his wars, it never ended. <laughs> you gotta give him credit for that line. That was a good line. <laughs> Even though the funeral was only five days, not 11 days. <laughs> of course. Of course. <laughs> uh, and of course, he'd already made his feelings known about McCain's funeral publicly many times. He discussed it in a public address shortly after the funeral was over. Take a look at this, very presidential. I endorsed him at his request and I gave him the kind of funeral that he wanted, which as president I had to approve. I don't care about this, I didn't get thank you, that's okay. We sent him on the way, but I wasn't a fan of John McCain. I don't care about this. But let me take the nation's time just to gripe about it for a quick second if I can, okay? The man's dead, but let me just really stick it to him a little extra, okay? I don't like people who die, I only like people who live forever, okay? That's who I am, that's the kind of guy that I am. I like people who live forever, okay? I prefer people who don't die, Yeah. okay? Uh, so, a bunch of things here. Number one, his first book was a picture book, not joking, picture book for a former president. His second book is things written by other people. Tell me you can't write without telling me you can't write. And the art of the deal was not written by him either of back course, in the day. Of course, those all had ghostwriters, of course, right? But now you're the former president, you can hire any ghostwriter you like. Obama made like a gazillion dollars on his books. All you gotta do is just write some sort of drivel. It doesn't matter, your audience loves you. They're gonna buy that book nonstop. He could probably get J.K. Rowling to sign up for free. <laughs> okay, so. Um, so now, uh, instead, since he just cannot write at all, totally illiterate, he uh, he would had like scribblings next to the pictures in the first book, and now next to the letters, he's like, yeah, don't like him. Gave him a funeral that was too long. That's his contribution. I mean, he's literally the president <laughs> who would sign bills. And proclamations in his desk, and his signature literally looked like this, and he would show it off like a child, be like, it's a bunch of, it's a bunch of loops. It's a bunch of scribbly loops, you maroon five. <laughs> so now I just wrote a book at TYT, that was excellent, smooth. Uh, TYT.com slash justice, they pre order this, it's called Justice is Coming. Now, why am I telling you that? Because fact checkers, were are legendarily meticulous, okay? And I went through that. I have got like 30 pages of endnotes. Like document every single thing, make sure it's a 200% true. Don't take any liberties. I even make fun of editor's notes in the book. Like I my editor told me to tell you three times that Senator Rick Scott did not get criminally convicted even though he's the biggest crook in America. <laughs> and I would explain why and the largest Medicare for us. And I tell you all that because this bozo doesn't even have any fact checkers. He's like, gave him the longest funeral in human history, 11 days. 
They're like, mm, mm, no, <laughs> neither one of those. Like, he's a handsome man, though. Look how handsome he is. <laughs> so, I mean, you couldn't tell how long McKay's funeral was before you wrote it in a book. Right, and it's the only thing you're writing. Recain's letter, and then you write, "I didn't like him." Okay, the funeral was 11 days. Just check that. Just check. Anybody check? Right? They're amazing, folks. I now, picture the second Trump says something like that, McCain in heaven is like this. Yeah, <laughs> which brings me to my second point. So, look, Donald Trump's attacks against John McCain were maniacal. Uh, I prefer people who weren't captured. <laughs> but that's crazy talk, right? And, they, and McCain refused to leave as long as there were other prisoners of war. That actually is super heroic. At the same time, John McCain was a terrible politician and he was in favor of every single war. That line about how it lasted longer, they lasted almost as long as his wars is true. He's a giant warmonger and you would never hear that in corporate media. All that all they ever did was kiss his ass. Now what did McCain do? Now I'm thrilled that he was the deciding vote that kept Obamacare. Because without Obamacare, it's, this healthcare system is even worse than it is today, right? And he was definitely deciding about that. And that's what Ben was referring to the famous thing where everybody's waiting to see what John McCain's gonna do and they don't know. And he comes out and goes, no, and votes against repealing Obamacare. Now, the great irony of that is he ran a whole campaign against Obamacare. Barack Obama said, hey, I'm gonna do this thing. And they remember in 2008, McCain and Obama uh, ran against each other, obviously, I covered it in the book. And McCain was like, this system's gonna kill people, it's terrible, it's awful. And then Trump insulted him, so he's like, "Oh yeah, I'm taking it personal. I think that system that I told you was gonna kill millions of people, nah, I'm gonna keep it. It's because John McCain never meant anything. He didn't think it was a bad system. He was just serving his donors, right? When he didn't want uh, better health care in America, he wanted to privatize what little uh, health care we had through things like Medicare, etc. So John McCain was a terrible politician. So part of the reason I tell you that is because everybody in media treats the world as if it's black and white. You either have to love everything Trump does or hate everything Trump does. Either everything Trump says is a lie or everything Trump says is true. No, John McCain was a warmonger. He did rule, he, he did do base that vote on pettiness against Donald Trump, which I don't think is a good reason to, to do a vote about policy that affects the whole entire country. Well, at least he at took, the same time, I'm thrilled that he did it because he came on our side. Yes, and at least at least he might have been a warmonger, but at least he took the decision to go to war seriously. He was never caught on tape like singing bomb Iran, bomb bomb Iran. Oh wait, I'm being told by my own brain that he was. <laughs> he did, he, that was caught on That's tape. Exactly right. So uh, and then, but I'll say one last thing about Trump and how much he amuses me. Uh, he's like. Gave him that long funeral, and this you can go back and watch. Didn't even get a thank you note. He's kind of dead. Strong point. <laughs> so would have been tough to send you a thank you note. I get it that the family could do it, but I wouldn't have said that out loud about a person who had passed away. I just just in Trump just apologized. No, he didn't. No way. <laughs> it's a zero percent chance he apologized. All right. Well, anyway, if you like letters from other people, check out Trump's book. And I love this tweet that I'm seeing right here showing my Trump signature there. That's pretty great. Oh, so <laughs> while we're on air, it's already going viral. It's already going viral. <laughs> it has been retweeted. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.